Early this year, Congressman McGovern and Senator Rubio introduced legislation in the House and the Senate to put pressure on China to allow U.S. diplomats, journalists, and NGOs to have free access to Tibet based on the principle of reciprocity. U.S. citizens face severe restrictions in their access to Tibet, while Chinese citizens, diplomats, NGOs, journalists, and media have free access to the United States. By the way, I've not been allowed in mainland China since 1993. I'm pleased that we're finally acting on this. It's been a long time coming, but today is a good day uh, to be moving forward. It's an important step. So I rise in support of Reciprocal Access to Tibet Act. It is a strong bip bipartisan bill, and that we're very proud of that, that takes an important step forward to advance the future of freedom, dignity, and prosperity for the Tibetan people. And my sense is that that is something that will pass, but, um, and, and I hope, and our push is for that to occur before the end of this Congress, which obviously ends at the end of December. So um, I'm, I'm confident that if we can get it onto the floor of the Senate in some form, it would pass without even a vote. We would have a unanimous consent on it, but we have to get through the procedural hurdle of our committees. Today is a special Tibet Lobby Day. Tibetan communities and ICT members across the country are meeting with the offices of their senators, and we are here today in the seat to deliver petitions and letters from the Tibetan communities to every senator of the United States. So we are going to go to meet with 100 offices just in a few minutes. I ask unanimous consent the bill be considered read a third time. Without objection. I know of no further debate on the bill. There's no further debate. Question on the passage of the bill as amended. Not amended. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed say no. The ayes appear to have it. The ayes do have it. The bill is passed.